so this is the uterus the one the part which is being held is the cervix this is the body and this is the fallopian tube just above the attachment of fallopian tube whatever is present is the fundus fundus body and cervix the junction of cervix and the body is the isthmus which will greatly elongate during pregnancy and these are the two lateral borders where you can see the attachment of the broad ligament of the uterus so fundus body cervix junction between body and the cervix is the isthmus and the junction between fundus and body will be demarcated by the attachment of the uterine tube now you can see here this is the round ligament of uterus which keeps the uterus in normal anatomical position that is anti version and anti flexion and here you can see this is the fallopian tube this is the fallopian tube so this is the isthmus part which will be cord like then there will be some part of the fallopian tube within the musculature of the uterine tube that is the intramural part this will be the isthmus and this is the most dilated part of the fallopian tube the ampulla and this will be the infundibulum so from the infundibulum you can see the fimbria are arising these are the fimbria of the uterine tube so from medial to lateral intramural part isthmus ampulla and the infundibulum the infundibulum is having fimbria so one of the fimbria will be large and it will be attaching to the ovary that is called as uh, ovarian fimbria and here you can see this is the ovary attached to the posterior layer of the broad ligament of uterus if i pull it like this you can see this is the ligament of the ovary this is the ligament of the ovary so this is the ovary and you can see here this is the infundibulo pelvic ligament this will be the infundibulo pelvic ligament from here the infundibulo pelvic ligament will gain attachment to the pelvic rim so you can see here so this is the ovary and this is the ovarian ligament or ligament of the ovary this will be the round ligament of uterus this will be the fallopian tube so if you observe properly below and in front of the fallopian tube is the round ligament of uterus and below and behind the fallopian tube will be the ligament of ovary and the ovary okay so like this three fingers so if you see like this if the middle finger is the fallopian tube in front and below will be the round ligament of uterus below and behind will be the ligament of ovary with the ovary so this is the relationship between the fallopian tube round ligament of uterus and ligament of ovary and the ovary okay